previously on the No VP channel. The level of stupidity. And coming up, the lightness of that sponge. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Channel is made possible thanks to our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive Garbo. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you, the snaffy! If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting! Time after time. Was not prepared for that today. Time after time. It is time for a monthly faves and shitters. It is. And you're here. I am. And, I, and I'm here. Anything to say about what it looked like today? Go on, just get it out. You basically took a checklist of everything that can turn tacky. What do you mean? Shall we do that now, shall we? Yeah, just get it out. What, okay, what, do, what, do you, what, what do you is think? this made of? Do you know what that looks like? Those foam shrimp you used to get from the Pick a Mix? <laughs> oh, were they called something? Or were they just literally called foam shrimp? Foam shrimp. The foam shrimp and the They're foam gross. bananas were also delightful. Gross. I loved those. You're very, very wrong. Have you like had an accident with like a lawnmower or something? No, so what this is is cool. <laughs> This is what all the kids are doing. It's very kind of like Y2K cool. I actually think we've both come like a little bit Y2K. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, this yeah. top at least. Maybe nothing else. But this top I feel like is quite Y2K. No, I'm Y2K. Yours is Y though. Promise me you wait for me. Have a drink with lunch. It's a faves and shitters. Yes. And so that means only one thing, doesn't it, Nova? We're going to be telling you our faves <laughs> and shitters. Three fave things that we're currently loving. Yep. Three things that we can't stand. Yep. P.U. I know you're all very excited for us to start into this because these videos have become something of a what cult classic. We do them every month. We've kept that up for ages, mind we you. Have, yeah. When can someone ne comment down below? Because I can't be bothered. Have you done it already? Well, not recently, but it's have, nearly a we year. We must have done it a year in a row. Now throw it away. We've never done I'm that. Not sure, we've never done that. But before we get into it, Nova, you should paint a mosquito bite on it to match. Oh, yeah. Because then people will know it's real. Now, listen, Nova, before we carry on, you utter buffoon and slob. <laughs> classic bit, classic humour. Stick around, we've got more of this. Oh, yeah. We need to talk to everyone at home, don't we, about something which is very, very dear to us in our lives. Yes. And what would that, that be? That is true, that is true. Today's yeah. video has a sponsor, mm -hmm. and that sponsor it's Surfshark. Surfshark. Oh, Surfshark, look at this now. This is an absolute godsend for us. If you don't know what it is, it's a VPN or a virtual private network. And it keeps you completely safe as you browse because it encrypts all the data sent between your device and the internet. There's no risk of your personal data being compromised. Nova, who'd want yours? Sorry, I stopped to look at your breasts. You know, if you went jogging, and if that's not enough, by downloading Surfshark, you can swap your real world location to a completely different one. So it doesn't matter what country you're in, you can use Surfshark to switch your territory and you'll immediately have access to all different content on your favorite platforms. What are they? Let's list them. Oh yeah. There's Prime, there's yeah. Netflix. Yeah. There is Hulu. Yeah. There is Now TV. Yes. All oh, and these listen, things. if you are like us and you followed Eurovision season, although I don't know if we're ever going to be following that again, what a hot mess. It's particularly great because they have got servers in over 100 countries. I'm going to mention a TV program in a little bit that is kind of like a competitor to the traitors on ITV but spoiler alert you really can't beat the original franchise and lucky for us there have been so many international versions of the traitors but they're not all available in the UK However, if you switch your location to Canada, CTV has loads of English speaking versions of this show, including the Canadian version, which we love. As another primo example, if you are watching us right now at home in the United States of America, you can get Surfshark and on Netflix, switch to the UK, and then you get access to more content like RuPaul's Drag Race is on there. What? What are you laughing for? Did you know you can also use it to mask your internet traffic from your ISP? And it is also available to download on all of your devices with unlimited logins. Oh, look, there's absolutely no risk in just trying Surfshark because they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, Nova. God, that's good. So if you want a brand new VPN or just upgrade that crap who one you've already got, then check out the link in the description below. Yes, by using the code NOVIMPIA, you can get four extra months for free. So make sure you click on the link in the description box or or scan the QR code on screen and thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Merci beaucoup. I, will be I think it's probably 
fair to oh look there's thumb oh my god there's thumbs oh i love a sleeve with like oh my god thumbs there's thumbs in, in i love these. that i wish even i had that even better even better your outfit's rubbish oh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first or shall i i'm gonna go then why do you ask oh okay you go okay my first fave flowers Flowers? Flowers. I'd like you to picture something with me now, Nova. Oh, I don't think I have the strength. Walking along and finding a hydrangea bush, a lovely windowsill orchid in shades of white and light pink. Okay. They only pop up once in a while, mind you, because orchids are a bit tricky. Gladioli. At the Lidl, they're like a pound a go. Yeah. I love how sort of earthy and rigid and rugged they are as a flower. Very underrated, I think. Only thing with Gladioli, and I was going to speak to you about this, is that they are toxic to cats. <laughs> what do you so mean, I've... speak to me about it? We haven't bought them in years for that reason. We've got Gladioli down downstairs that were gifted to us. That's not Gladioli. It is. No, it's not. Isn't it? No. I don't I know what they is. are, but it's not that, no. Your oh. flower knowledge is disastrous. I'll just stick my finger up my bum then. Yeah. Uh, we had Luxaria over recently. Five foot tall tower of fat. And I thought, lovely, we're gonna do up the spare room for her. And there was a side table there and I was like, I'm gonna go in the garden. So I went into the garden and I picked what looks like- It was a very nice arrangement. Hydrangea. And yeah, then there I found- was, there was some hydrangea in there. What looked like violets. In retrospect, I think they were all weeds, but I put them in a nice glass next to the table and the room smelled very, very fragrant. And then she, she asked to have them taken out. Do you feel that the transgender community has too big a voice now. I would have done the same. Only because for those of us who do suffer with allergies and hay fever. Grow up. Because they were so fresh, it was quite overwhelming. And it was a bit like, oh, wow. I thought it was Pollen. a nice touch as a host when you have a guest. Sure. I thought that was nice. Sure. I yeah. love flowers. Is this a fave or a shitter? Is your no, fave flowers or your shitter that Luxaria my rejected? My shitter is Luxaria. <laughs> My fave is, I love flowers. I think they just brighten up a space. Lovely, That's but we can't have gay. them because of the cats, can we? We can't have flowers. Unfortunately so. Even flowers that aren't toxic to cats, it's not worth us having them because Luther, not Janice, Luther just eats them. Oh, he sucks everything, doesn't he? We can't really have oh. house plants because There's, he just eats them. One? We have that really, really spiky. hardy, spiky succulent. Oh, and he's always and he still chews. <laughs> you'll sort of like look, hear a sound, you look over, and he's just like absolutely going down on this poor plant, which is like half dead now. I've been alone with you inside my. Carnations are cute, lilies oh, are like nice, freesias. Do I smell freesias? Poor fishy. Okay, I have got two but. food faves. First one is another veggie substitute, so you get to use that cutaway. Over. <laughs> yes, what you see. Linda McCartney. Go on ahead. Thank you. Linda McCartney. Go ahead. On the starboard, starboard. You're so boring. Mine are always fresh and original. I tried recently. I think it's a new product. The Squeaky Bean Tuna Flakes. What is that? I'm sorry, they're so good. I don't have any to show you. We'll have to show you a picture. It looks the most like tuna out of like all the tuna substitutes. And for those of you out there who are veggie or vegan, you know that like fish and seafoods can be quite tricky to imitate. And I really miss fish and seafood. You did prepare me some, and you know what I said when I gave it a sniff? Oh, you said it smelled like fake meat. For a fish. So this comes, look, it looks like it's Shit. like tinned mashed up tuna, but it's in like a plastic box situation. And you just mix it with mayo. And it's so close to tuna. The taste is not 100% there. Really, you amaze me. But the taste that is there is not offensive. And that I find is the problem with a lot of these meat substitutes is that they overcompensate for flavor and end up straying too far away from it. I would rather have- Giblets, like the neck and the, oh, ooh, it's cold, it's wet. A more subtle, delicate lack of flavor that I can then season than have something that tastes nothing like what it's supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? Did you hear that bike? Yeah. I said this at the time because I tasted it and it wasn't bad. If you added vinegar to it. Oh yes, like make it a bit more briny. Give it that tang that yes. tuna has. Tang, I struggle to say it, but yay. Maybe. Maybe. Like the brine from a jar of pickles. Some of that, that Take the work. brine from tuna. 
<laughs> and add it to the tuna. That would be allowed because you're not eating the tuna, are you? That's not how that works. What if you found a tin of tuna in a skip? I, where did we Where did we find this? It was in a big Sainsbury's. If you spot it, give it a go. It's pretty good. Give it I'm a go really if impressed. you've got absolutely nothing on in the afternoon. Better get cracking on some of those important projects of mine. Okay, we'll have to do some faves and shitters like think tank, brainstorming some stuff that isn't just the same shit every week. Sitting down. My first shitter, <laughs> you're gonna love this. Hand dryers. Oh, okay, yeah. Are so fucking useless. Yeah. Let's talk, you stick your hand under a hand dryer in a public lavatory. Okay, the first thing they're shit for is the fact that they'll give you th about three seconds of like cold cat fart. It's not enough. How does the manufacturer of such a, a device think that's going to dry wet hands? They don't. It's not going to. And then you constantly have to take it out, put it back on. Oh. Okay. I generally again. avoid hand dryers. And again. Because. They're disgusting. They're dirty. But if you have no other option, what are you supposed to do? You wipe it on your just clothes. Just a little, yeah. Just I mean, little. I tend to do a sort of half and half. I'll sort of do it and then kind of do it. I prefer like a paper towel. You it's know, more hygienic. those awful bastard things. The Dyson ones. Where you put like a, a metal ring around a wire and you don't want it to go off. Yeah. You know those dickhead things that are so stressful. The Dyson put your hands in. You don't want to touch the side because the side's always got like mold yeah. growing on it. Yeah. Like toilet pooey hand water, <laughs> mold growing on it. So you got to just like really slowly do that. <laughs> Or well, there's that new one where it's the like a where stick. The one where it's like a V and it's like the yeah, sides. Yeah, what? That one doesn't even work very well. There is something in this house, something diabolic. Oh god, there's no way. They just none of them work. They're all assholes. Where were we? And it was freezing cold. The air that came out. Oh yeah, that was weird. Was it a service station? And we were like, that's cold. Oh, that's a lot. We yeah. don't do well at service stations, do we? We get no service. <laughs> Dry my hands. I'm going to start taking a ta a small towelette with me. Maybe that would actually be quite effective. I'm going to make a note of that. Are we ready for my first shitter? Go, please proceed. I have not played Pokemon Go in a long time. I used to play it like if we were like on a trip somewhere. Joy and pride. Just yeah. something to do yeah, yeah. on your phone mm -hmm. at the airport. Now arriving gate eight. Gate nine. There was a big update recently. Okay. And it was to try, it was something to do with make, add, adding more customization to your avatar. You know, oh, like, okay, yeah, avatar. yeah. So you can now like change the body type. There's more like hairstyles. There's, oh. there's just more customization. But in doing so, they've completely changed the art style of the avatar. And it's so ugly. It looks the same when I went on it. We asked 100 passers by in Bolton to guess Jackie's age. Um, 53. I went on it like two days ago, mind you. Then you don't remember what it used to look like. So this was someone's avatar beforehand. Okay, yeah, so that's and nice, isn't in it? In the update. Oh god, what's happened there? They've all got these like pudding faces. She looks the very skin tones are really cool and they've lost like the warmth. The poses have changed as well. It's funny to me that Pokemon Go is still fucking it up. Yeah. Still after how many years? Because we were super into this, weren't we, at the time? When it first I came out. Oh everyone was. Like we this. all did it. Didn't we all do it? No. Didn't we? I mean honestly, Nova, like who cares though? <laughs> It's just so that's ugly. Better. Oh, that's the worst one. That's the worst one. Yeah. It's so ugly. Like, why would you, why would you do this? They Who have looked changed. looked at this and was like, yeah, this is a good idea. The frame rate is also increased on it. So you throw a ball and suddenly it's all really fluid. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so the maybe... thing is, like, people have paid money for a lot of this stuff. And now it just looks like shit. And I think the skin tones are also a real problem. What is that? But it's just, it, it, it amazes me. Like, this game is pretty much dying. Why would you piss off the small amount of player base that you still have. I kind of enjoy, well, no, it died off for me for a while ago when I could never get the, um, a ditto. I could never get one. Oh, I got a ditto. Oh, thanks a lot. Well, I did, but one of the challenge things is like get three of them. Oh, yeah. And it took me about four years to get one. Get I think, three. I think the oh. problem with it was like after COVID, they started to roll back some of the features that allowed <laughs> you to play from home. Don't and now do you that. actually have to go out and walk places. And it's not always safe to do so, depending on where you live. Like there were a lot of people who lived in areas that were like quite remote or literally just not safe. And you're encouraged people to go out walking. So that was a very controversial one. I don't want to walk. I don't want to call the baby Murray. They're just really ugly, like really ugly. Um, a lovely segue. No, that's that not a segue at all, actually. I don't know why I said that. I don't want anyone to think I'm being mean here. Favorite. Well, too late now. Favorite. No, how do I rewind on that? <laughs> it's not a segue at all. Well, it clearly made you think uh, of it. A so. lovely thank you, Nova, for your part 
And now my favourite, Reba McIntyre. <laughs> There was no segue at all. I don't Favorite. know anything about the woman. Re oh, Reba McIntyre. Country singer. I don't know how, first of all, I don't know how it's possible for someone's mouth to be wider than their face. I don't know how she came into my life suddenly. She was like recommended and I was like, oh, I'm recognized. Everyone knows the name. I know she's a country singer. Clicked on it and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. This is very, very catchy, isn't it? I listened to her when I was doing the pressure washing the other day. I couldn't tell you a single song by her. Now listen, if you were to run through some sort of AI machine monster monstrosity, like country singer, like her voice is the most ridiculously country, like all of it is just like literally, get on a horse, I got my boots on, on my horse. That's how the songs Swi go, is it? Swinging some whiskey on my horse, in my boots, gun toting, I'm on my horse. And we like this. Love it, love it, it's ridiculous. She did a cover of Because of You, with Kelly Clarkson. Oh no. And I keep replaying this one bit because I, I find it so amusing. In fact, I'm not even going to tell you the part of the like, you're going to just get it ah. straight away. You'll know what it's so weird. Oh. Around me! Not only me, but everyone. Oh my god, I just I would never have given that a She's second so thought. She's so southern, it's so country. Around. I would never have given that it a gives second me thought. So you much are a ridiculous person. It gives me so much joy around me. <laughs> Do you know what? I like that one song, Turn On on the Radio. That's not hers, is it? <laughs> I don't think there's the one. There's this one song where in the video she's like got this guy like sitting on a chair oh. who's significantly younger than her, but good oh. for her first of all. And she's got like a wall full of radios. And the whole point in the song, it's very clever. Oh, you're my ex. I'm gonna hunt you down. But if you want to find out about me and what I'm doing, turn on the radio because she's like a successful singer. Do you get it? So it's at the end of Skater Boy. Sort of, yes. No. This I'm entering into my Reba era. I'm happy for you. I'm gonna come to set next time as Reba McIntyre. I think I feel like you'd look nice in like a, a copper wig. I wonder what you're gonna say then. Well, everyone wants to see me do Reba, I think. I'm not sure that's correct. And then everyone wants to come around. <laughs> okay, speaking. What is this part of my top as well? What is this? I don't know, you chose to wear it. It's a bit horny, isn't it? Don't take me for a walk. Where does it go? Speaking of red-headed songstresses, I've got a song as a fave. By a red-headed songstress? Yeah. Is it Reba? No. Oh. I'm gonna hunt you down. Jenny's got a boyfriend. He's the perfect design. Do, do, I do, think do. this is probably the third time one of our faves has been a Bonnie McKee song. Really? Again, again Nova, you've really got to Worth think it. of it. You've got it. to take it some time. Can we brainstorm next Listen, time? Listen, if we do this every month, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I just like the things that I like. We like to have a bit of fun with fashion. Mm. The new song, Jenny's got a boyfriend. Such a fun cat. Camp. music video really really catchy cute song and I think this is the last single ahead of her album which is called Hot City and that is out this month I just love her I think we've spoken before in another Vaves video about the history she's had with this album and how she really really fought for a long time for the right to release it and now she's re-recorded all of the songs and she's given them a new layer of like gloss and polish with some fresh production and it's finally releasing this album. And I think this is such a great, like, it's not the lead single, but it's like the last single that's leading us into the album release. I don't like this song. I love this song. Jenny's got a boy. And when the night is over. Jenny's everything she does is like 80s. That's her, you know, she grew up yes. in the 80s. So everything she does is super, super like VHS, arcade. Socialist policies. The cover art for this single is so great as well. She's in these like platform shoes, but they're roller skates. Oh, it's she looks so She's calm. so hot. There was a trend recently on Twitter or a viral tweet or something about people asking what happened. To fair dealing. To like really, really basic, feel good, don't overthink it pop music mm -hmm. of like the early noughties. No way, no way. And a lot of like more music nerds, I suppose, refer to this as recession pop. Whenever the world is going through like a financial recession, typically music tends to get really, really good. And there's a lot of videos about this and why that happens and it's really interesting. And I feel like, for good or for bad, we're currently hurtling towards that again. And I think Bonnie McKee is like what you would call recession pop. I would also point you towards Madison Rose. She's got a new one coming out soon that sounds real, real good. 
pusser. Don't overthink it. Just serve up a slice. And Nova is at the buffet for several slices. Yes. And she eats a lot. I do. <laughs> Mr. Gloop, would you mind saying- Why did I open with time after time? I feel like I was going somewhere with that and then just- I didn't- People are together Yeah! <laughs> it's your turn for a shitter. This is kind of a joke. I don't want anyone to get up in arms about this. It's oh, kind of a joke. To. It's kind of a joke, but kind of not a joke. Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> specifically, J Jane Kaczmarek's character in Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> Nova. This is like 20 years too late. Yeah, but I never watched, okay, I never watched Malcolm in the Middle when it was on. It was one of those shows that just completely flew by me. I just never saw an episode ever. I knew of its, of its existence, never watched it. Nova started watching it from the beginning because it's on, what is it on? Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Yeah. Nova watches it. It's one of those where like, oh, my food's ready and maybe I'll throw something on very just quick. something easy. Yeah. Easy. I wasn't paying any attention to it. I was like, oh yeah, I never watched this. I'd carry on on my laptop doing whatever. And every once in a while, I would just literally be like, fuck me, what is happening on the TV? That show is 90% of the time, Jane Kaczmarek screaming at someone. How, I mean, the woman needs a day off. She's like Lynette Scarvo on crack. She needs a wank. A very good comparison. She needs a massage. I mean, it's so stressful to watch. She's, they're always doing some ridiculous shit. So she's Scree got four kids. Yeah, but who wants to Old watch boys. that? Who wants to watch it? She's always pulling her hair out and screaming. It's so outrageous. Oh, it's so funny though. She's would such find a great character. And I think there is such depth to her character. Why aren't you fixing that roof? I have had it! And there's some episodes which are really, really touching and really funny and really nice. I get from like, on the surface, it's just a load of people screaming. Screaming. But if you, if any of you guys have seen Mark in the Middle, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's actually a really, it's got a lot of heart. This show is really sweet. It was, there was one episode where she throws like a handbag across the kitchen, storms out, and then, then uh, that was enough for me to be like, oh, okay, well, of course she's done that because it's an episode of Malcolm in the Middle. And then it cuts to one of the kids, might be the youngest one, and he's got his t-shirt over his head and he's covered in ketchup. And then the dad starts screaming because he thinks that it's like the boy's head's missing. And they're all just screaming and screaming. And I was like, this show, it's all this show is, is just shouting. Yeah! This top's got everything I need in a top. Um, okay, I've got <laughs> I've got one that's gonna be a bit controversial. Oh, for not God's... not with you, but like might piss off some people, and I just don't care. Why do you... It needs to be said, and I have said it before on social media, no, and fact, it was controversial. It. But I'm gonna say it again. Don't do it. Taylor Swift becoming a billionaire. Oh. <laughs> You can't talk about Taylor Swift. It is not worth it. There's a man in my house who's trying to kill me. I don't really have a lot to say about Taylor Swift specifically. I might shift more onto the fact that she's recently become a billionaire. I'm just gonna set up a solo channel. <laughs> I have liked a lot of Taylor Swift's music. I've personally not liked her music in a long time. So there is like a lot of bias for this as well because I've not enjoyed her music. Like her last four or five albums I've not enjoyed. Sure, if you like her, whatever, fine. She's just like, she's just there doing her thing, twirling about, fine. Bunner is a witch. However, I don't understand how someone accidentally becomes a billionaire. That's not a thing. You will have this forecast. You've got finance people. You'll know that it's happening. Nice to meet you where you Nationwide. I just think it's so embarrassing to be a billionaire. I feel like people really struggle with the idea of how much a billion dollars is. What's a girl gonna do? Make money work for you. Nationwide. Because it is really such an unfathomable amount of money. There's no reason why anybody on this planet should have hoarded that amount of wealth. It upsets the economy. It just proves that you're a selfish person because you should be redistributing that wealth in other areas. It doesn't have to be charity even necessarily. Just be like stimulating the economy. It's so sad to think about The worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 19 And she has such a huge loyal fan base And I don't understand how these people are just like Yes, let's stand the billionaire Well, I think a lot of people just simp I don't know, I'm, we're not getting into it I did a podcast about Taylor Swift the Oh, other did day. you? Did you mention the billionaire status? Yeah, I did Oh I was kind of like, I've got no knowledge of Taylor Swift I've got no interest in her But I always come from the place of like She's not for me, that's fine if you love her, go ahead. I'm not here to persuade anyone not to like her. I own several of her for earlier albums. Music. I kind of was trying to break down what it is about her people just simp for, essentially. Because a lot of people just go She's insane. Safe. She's safe. She's comforting. Well, She's we came safe. to the conclusion. And if you'd like to go and listen to this, it's on Patreon. Thank you so much, Noma. Did you have to do this? That she's like the girl next door. She's actually not wildly talented. 
talented, and that's what mm. people like about her because she's yeah, so she's relatable. Not intimidating. She doesn't do the most insane choreo. She doesn't have the most insane vocal. It doesn't matter. That package in one. But Let's you know, when I came off. close to being a billionaire, I stopped and I was like, Nova, no, 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 no. No! <laughs> I feel like you should but, reach billionaire status and be like, congratulations, you won the money game. Now you're going to be taxed out of this. Like you don't, no one needs more money than that. I don't, I don't care who you are. You don't, no one needs a billion dollars. It's funny that when we do a faves and shitters, Nova's going to be like a fake meat product a Bonnie McKee song <laughs> and billionaires are assholes. That's generally what you get from her. And then you get flowers sitting down. I love flowers. I love flowers. I got my boots on. If you see me around and you'd like to give, give me a flower. <laughs> Yeah, but don't go picking wild flowers. That's well, if not it's someone nice. else's. Also, imagine if now everyone comes to our booth at DragCon with flowers. It looks someone's died. What is it now? Favourites? A fave. Is that Reba a Reba McIntyre I've got on here. You've done that one already. Faves. I got my boots on. Okay, our last fave. Rocky Road. Oh. Now listen to this. I'm not the sweetest person in the world. Because you are a mean girl. I don't love all the shit Nova likes. I'm not gonna sit around and eat a pack of cookies or whatever. Nova is rabid for cookies, aren't yeah. you? Cookies, let's talk about what else? Fucking sex, sucking. There's some Kinder Buenos cakes, downstairs. You buenos, like a chocolate bar is the last thing I'm gonna have. However, there is something about the combination. Let's talk biscuit, marshmallow. See, I can't have it anymore because of the marshmallow. First of all, you can get fake marshmallows. You can, but how often have you seen that in Rocky Road? That's a hole in the market. Make it quick. <laughs> It'll exist already. Yeah, but not very easy. Easily accessible. But also, what is what else is in there? Glacier cherries you put in Rocky Road, don't you? Do you? I'm sure it's a glacier cherry. Wait, glacé cherries. Yeah. That is such a bastardization left over from my childhood. My brother calls them glacier cherries. I'm well aware they're glacé cherries, but anyway. Or is it raisins you get in it? It's glace, glacé cherries. I don't remember. But there's a combination of the slightly sort of brittle biscuit with a chewy marshmallow and the softness of that, of the cherry steeped in piss steeped in piss the lightness of that sponge you now if more people did wi they'd be after the need for hallucinogenic drugs i just think rocky road is really really elite the problem is it's so rich and calorific that you can have like a couple of them and then you just want to vomit i can't do this anymore because it makes me feel so heavy and bloated <laughs> but they do like you go into a sainsbury's and get the plastic boxes full yeah. of millionaire bite bits or whatever what have you flapjack bits yeah they, they like do a rocky road one. yeah oh Calm down, D. I think Rocky Road is really a naughty, naughty, naughty little treat. <laughs> In a previous Faves and Shitters, you mentioned a shitter that was Greg's. Yes. And you mentioned that the only reason why people like it is because there's no competition. Oh, are you about to mention Wenzel's? There's like... An up and coming chain of British bakery, very, very comparable to the style of Greg's. If you're not familiar with Greg's, go and watch our video where we talk about it and then you'll be, you'll, you'll totally get the idea. And we were just saying how there's not really any direct competition, not like a big chain. There's like independent bakers, but not like it's anything that could take on the giant of Greg's. Well, there is a London based chain called Wenzel's, which is, I think as of the end of last year, opened up a handful of new branches outside of London around the UK, and we have one. <laughs> And we've not been in person yet, but we've ordered from there a few times, like on Deliveroo or Uber Eats, whatever it is. It's so good. It's we got fresher. It during, we were filming at the time, weren't we? Yes. We were filming a makeup one. Maybe yes. even me painting you, I yes. think it was. I don't know if I want a baguette or a panini. Well, what do you want? <laughs> and we ordered it halfway through just because we were like, oh, we'll give it a go. It's a light luncheon option. There's not a whole load of vegan options. Linda McCartney. Go on ahead. Thank you on there in case you're wondering they do have like a vegan sausage roll which is really really good i'm a big fan of like the egg mayo baguettes they do paninis they do breakfast the stuff. egg mayo baguette is not even worth it's so good you can buy like loaves of bread from there as the well. loaf of bread was delightful and let's talk about greg as a name is so shit i'm sorry greg's greg's let's go to greg's or wenzel's <laughs> 
The packaging is all really good as well because Greg T gets something in a greaseproof paper bag and off you go. But this is like foil lined, so it keeps things hot. Things stay hot. Let's go down to Greg's. If you've got one near you, I can only recommend if it. If you've got one Give near it a go. you, if you've got one, check out Wenzel's. Give it a go. I mean, obviously, support your local independent businesses. Yeah, do that before you go to Wenzel's. But if you've shit. got a choice between Wenzel's and Greg's, try the Wenzel's. My final shitter is is people not understanding and therefore misusing the word gaslighting. <laughs> because I feel like it is such a genuine kind of phenomenon and awful hideous thing people do. But someone just lying casually is not inherently a form of gaslighting. And I say this because I feel like it's now become such a kind of like a common thing people throw around and just say, oh, stop gaslighting me. But people Gas don't really understand what the word means. Gaslighting requires, it's a bit more nefarious, I think, because it requires a bit more thought behind it. It's not just a basic lie, is it? It's trying to convince you. It's a level you. of manipulation yeah. intended to make someone question their reality. Hell! I don't know what it was. There's a couple of examples. Because Novi and I use Facebook to, well, we use Messenger to send pictures to each other. We don't use it for anything else, really. I sometimes will go on it and some, and you'll see, I mean, everyone knows Facebook is just like a breeding ground for like middle-aged oh, people to like us. share <laughs> memes and stuff. AI-generated pictures of was, Jesus as a shrimp. How could you do this to me? Someone left a status. I don't even know who this person was. And it was something along the lines of like, ah, oh, he was told me he was going to um, do some roof with a friend but I found out they were in the pub. The level of gaslighting. That's not what gaslighting is. And I remember just sort of reading that being like I'm not I don't I mean I don't know these people I'm not gonna tell them I'm, I'm telling you now but it just that's just not what not what it is and of course everyone was sort of backing them up and yeah I mean you know someone lies to you terrible but like just the word is just thrown around I feel like people don't get what it means. <laughs> An example of gaslighting would be if the woman in that situation was upset for the man going to the pub mm -hmm. and he said <laughs> Listen, you're only upset because you're stressed out today because you've had this headache and me going to the pub is not actually why you're upset. So I'm just yeah. going to do this and that's yeah. that's what you're really angry about. That's or saying, but I told you I was going to the pub earlier on and we you agreed yeah. with me. Yeah. And now it seems like, do you maybe need a nap or something? Like, that's what it is. Making that's someone be like, oh, hang on a second. Am I going changing to... Changing the... Stockings. Changing the narrative. Mix it up. I don't need to gaslight Nova because she's already insane. <laughs> sort of a bit gaslighty that, wasn't it? Did you see what I did there? What? <laughs> I feel like you did this for a while when you learnt the definition of the word sociopath. Then all of a sudden everyone was a sociopath in Nova's eyes. Start your engine. You've left a snail. What's that? What's that little... Treasure trail. Trail there. Leads right to the treasure. <laughs> My last oh, shitter oh, is, is a brand new television show which just started last <sighs> night at the time of filming. By the time this goes out, there'll be seven more episodes because they are airing every night for two weeks. So maybe my opinion on this <gasps> would have changed. I'm not sure I want to watch. I mean, I'm going to watch the second one. I'm going to give it a go. I'm you give are it a go. so stupid. You're going to watch the entire thing and love it by the end. <laughs> the Fortune Hotel on <clears throat> ITV is a reality competition show that is basically just ITV's attempt to make the traitors. <laughs> it, is, it is just the, the, the traitors, but like a shitter version of it. And That's I don't not be, even like conspiratorial, it's so blatant. I don't want to be super, super harsh on it because I don't doubt that a lot of people worked hard on this. I don't care. And I don't doubt that there could be a good show in here somewhere. But it's really, really let down because as massive fans of The Traitors, you can just see how much they've copied it. <gasps> The it's very brazen. in parts is the same. The entire concept, which I'll get into in a moment, is very, very similar. The music choices are just the same. Every, every, the logo is also very similar. Like everything about it yeah. is very, very similar. The it's music's not different particularly enough. Particularly egregious. Like it literally uses the same kind of like run, like riffs and stuff, doesn't it? So the idea with the traitors is that you are a group of strangers that meet for the first time, and then around three people are 
are told that they're traitors and everybody else has to guess who the traitors are. That's the traitors. It's about lying and deception. Yes. This one sucks shite. Is for some reason they're like pairs of people, which I find very, very strange. So we've got some like parent, child, well, I mean they're not children, but like mother, daughter, <laughs> mother, son, situation. mother and baby. We've got a few couples, we had a few best friends. They're pairs of people that know each other. Well, if we went on it though, what how would we be named? Titled as such. Dumb and dumber. Business partners, though, is not inaccurate. Fat tipsy bitches! Each pair is given a briefcase. One briefcase has, is it £250,000? One briefcase has an early checkout card, and the rest of them are blank. <laughs> This was so obviously assigned by production and you could tell with the editing, this was not random and this was not chance. This was very clearly assigned by production, which is my first issue. I don't like that I can spot production partaking in it. Like I understand reality TV always has production worming their way in, but I don't like it when I can so obviously spot it. And this was really obvious. I can see there's no fooling you, Anakin. They then play these challenges and the win, it's, just, it's, just, it gets, it's, it's a bit convoluted. That's, a, that's another a problem. A bit one thing. And the rest. So the challenges on the traitors, people work together to build up a prize fund. With this one, the winners of these challenges swap their briefcase with someone last, because every night they swap briefcases. It's very keys in a bowl. And the winner of the challenge goes last, and the loser goes first. And it's just, it does make sense, but it's quite hard to understand. It's kind of like the traitors mixed with coach trip. <laughs> Coach I never Do you seen have a coach trip? trip? Like couples know on a it, coach on holiday and then they get sort of, oh, it's so dumb. I think the problem with this show is that it is, it's not born out of a great idea. No. It's born out of a, a necessity to, to fill a time slot with a traitor's this is the poop shite. rival. So they've, they've bungled it with this stupid... Also, the name of the show makes my skin crawl. So they have... The Fortune Hotel. The Fortune Holders How are the ones with the money. Take? And then the Misfortunates are the ones that are, like, on the chopping block. I'd have called it Fort Unit. The problem is, yeah, it's just so obviously only exists to be a competitor for Traitors. And the Traitors was so unbelievably successful, I don't know why you'd bother. Basically, if this was released in, like, the mid noughties it would have been presented by Anton Deck. <laughs> oh, 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 let's get bobbing. Oh, honestly, it's shit and shite. I wouldn't bother. I will give it another go. You'll I, get to the end and love the, it. The bit with the briefcases, I was like, there is something to this and this is fun to watch, but it is convoluted and the rest of it was like, maybe it was it's just like a bad pilot. The traitors combined with coach trip and deal or no deal. Put myself on a pedestal. <laughs> it's very deal or no deal. It's so crap. I, well, I mean, listen, sh I'm sure some people love it, and I was, in fairness, only dipping in and out. Nova loves it, and is just lying to your I face. don't love it. She loves it. She no. produced it. The Fortune Hotel. <laughs> Check in, open. Oh, well, we've reached the end of our time together just now. I'm quite glad. Of what? That we've reached the end. Why? No, that's not very nice. Because now we're a step closer uh, to food. You pick it. Should we have another video to do? Listen, I hope you all enjoyed that little faves and shitters monthly edition of. Yeah. If you would, you know, like to consider subscribing, if you are new here, then do it. <laughs> would be nice if you subscribe. Oh, but you know what? We've also got a Patreon with exclusive yes. content. Most recently, okay, the Eurovision prediction videos, which by the way, if you want to go and see how accurate we were, that is, I'm quite we shocked. I'm quite well. scandalized we by how well. well we did. Lock non-qualifying is Latvia. Latvia. What? We also have two two hour extended videos on there of us mm -hmm. painting each other with some lovely spa music where we're just hanging out you also do a weekly podcast you'll get early access to all of our videos every week oh there's the discord honestly it's so worth it i think yeah. isn't it they should all go over they don't they don't oh <laughs> patreon the address for that will be arriving on screen just now do 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 oh well do 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 oh well do 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 what you gonna do that's from Jenny's Got a Boyfriend. Oh, I thought it was like background music from Speed 2 Cruise Control. Ah! Speed 2 Cruise Control with Sandy Bullock. Shut up, Olympia! Oh, some of the guys on Patreon get birthday shout-outs now, don't they? Been on limited too. 
Did that make sense to you? We have to get you a little snack or something. Get your bag I'm of hungry. Go down to a Seven Eleven. Get your bag of peanuts. <laughs> All right. Well, let's find a Seven Eleven. Get your bag of nuts or something. Get your bag of nuts. <laughs> get your bag of bag of nuts or something. <laughs> All right, Mickey. Just. <laughs> um, oh, so for May 7th, Asriel. There's only one idiot here, Asriel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Asriel. Sorry we missed you off, Asriel, but once again, that was Nova's incompetence. Don't, I'm not accepting this. Happy birthday to you, Asriel Spellman. What a beautiful name. That is very nice. Um, for the 13th, it is Lauren. A carrot. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lauren. Lauren of Lauren and Becky. I think they're lesbians. Oh, how very modern. A carrot. How very forward thinking and not Y2K. Couldn't do all that back then, could you? <laughs> On the 17th, it is Alex's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Alex. Birthday. And on the 20th, very apropos for the new season of Doctor Who, it is TARDIS 83's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, TARDIS 83. A carrot. Oh, and that's it from us. Oh, there's also a Twitch game night. There is a Twitch. We've been AWOL from that for a while. In vacation mode. We're back, back now. On, yeah, back we're back now. now. Back we're now. back. Who's excited to hang out? We're back on cat. Play some games. Having fun. Hanging out on the coach. Coach trip. My wife is still in the toilet. We should go on coach trip. Do they still make it? I don't know. Probably I don't know anything about it. Do you remember that friend of ours who was hell bent on getting on coach trip? No. Oh. He was obsessed with the idea of getting... What, what a well, he wanted to go on anything. He, he applied fucking, for all kinds of things, didn't he? Fucking loser, by the way. Yeah. And a carrot to our brand new patrons, Ashley, Dingo Davey, Brody Taylor, Dean, Jay Gilmore, I'm Just a Cupcake, Daniel Jackson, Nathan Pimenta, Malinka, Lisa and Jamie. Imagine your life's goal being on coach trip. Oh, that's so depressing. <laughs> it's almost like your entire life goal being wanted to get on Drag Race. <gasps> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron. 